Our next honor student is attending Penn State in architecture, and she is Amanda Criswell. I just wanted to start by saying hi to my brother because he bet me that I wouldn't come up here and say hi to him. So now I have an audience full of witnesses that he owes me money. Okay, on a more serious note, as graduation day approached, I reflected upon my fellow classmates, and the more I thought, the more I realized that I couldn't have asked for a better class to be graduating with. The one character trait that I admire most is held deep within the hearts of everyone up here. This character trait is self-confidence. From the minute I met each person, right until this very moment, I could sense the confidence, creativity, and charisma that fills everyone. As we grew up, we learned from multiple influences the importance of being ourselves and the need to resist peer pressure and follow our hearts. Amazingly, we are still following this pathway as teenagers graduating from high school. However, following our hearts and not being led by other people is not as easy as it sounds. Four years ago, we encountered, for the first time, one of the greatest obstacles in our struggle to be ourselves. This is known as high school. High school exposed us to more challenges, standards, and opposing beliefs. But as the rules, regulations, and expectations of high school grew stronger, our self-confidence simultaneously grew. Although everyone has not always accepted our strong opinions, we have continued on the pathway of life with our heads high. We have completed what is needed to be done, and at the same time, followed what we have believed is right. From this class, I have learned the journey towards success begins when we have the confidence to not only face opposition, but overpower it. And true success is achieved by those who believe in themselves and their dreams and are satisfied with who they are. Although I've spent more than 12 years in school, it seems I have learned greater lessons from my friends and family than those lessons I have learned in school. Academics will remain important to me in the future, but the gift of believing in myself will be the key to a successful future. At this time, I would like to thank my family and the class of 1999 for reassuring me that it's okay to be myself through their tremendous lead. I would like to acknowledge my family, especially my parents, for raising me with the guidance and support and yet allowing me the freedom to grow into an individual. I wish the best of luck to my class in remaining strong-willed and self-assured. And to everyone in the audience, I would like to end with a quote by Lao Tzu that I think everyone can learn from. When you're content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. Thank you.